hi guys how are you today <laughs> um laughing because it's been a while if you don't know me my name is nduta uh when you had jean boots and i just came back from visiting kenya and it's so funny because i thought in kenya i would make the most content <laughs> But that was not to be. <laughs> so I'm back here and I thank God because he has done so many good things in this season. And I feel like this is a new beginning uh, late in the year as it is or late in the month of January. But we're stepping into it. And one thing that is uh, on my mind in this season is how do I begin this year? you know and as ma as many ideas as flood our minds when beginning a new year i realized that if we don't go with god you know like how moses said uh to god if you don't come with us you cannot go you know and one thing i'm cautious about is ever doing anything without god i feel so much safer i feel so much better you know when i start with god and knowing that he's in the detail so today i just want uh to invite you along this journey and even as we go on whether you're new or a member who watches and haven't subscribed kindly subscribe and help us along in this journey so we may grow and do something together i do have some plans for the year but like i said i'm just feeling them out in this moment i i'm lucky in the fact that i have some days before i get like really busy and so in this season aside from nursing uh funny tummy because i like i didn't even have in, enough information on, on how to travel but uh it does happen that kumbe you need some allergy medicines you need some painkillers those we had and you need some uh still softeners even just to work out your tummy issues oh god but it is all well as you can see i have <laughs> i'm wearing one of my gifts that my mom bought for me and also i have some that my relatives bought see i have some that my relatives bought and i never thought i would ever wear african regalia but look at me i think it looks good yeah but uh like i said my message today is on trusting and obeying god in the season uh like the title suggests and let me just say that sometimes it may look like you don't understand what the lord is saying in that season yeah or uh, what he has ever said in your life i know that those stages where you're like hey does god talk to me like he talks to other people you know and i would say the best instruction is found in his word whenever you doubt that you can hear god just go into his word jitume you know send yourself and find out what the lord is saying in whatever season yeah so i'm just diving right in because i'm excited i know you would want to hear some tales about kenya but i will just say this the lord has been really really good when you hear me say that it's because he has been uh we came out of here with lots of plans on what to do and i was so eager to just see kenya from what i've been observing uh online and i it, it was that and more just traveling on our roads eating our food you know enjoying just the culture and i have to tell you that i culture shocked myself once again i have to stop doing this like everywhere i go i get shocked you know how could it be that i would get shocked in my own country <laughs> but i did and i have to ask kenyans are you okay because me i i have to say i was shocked by the prices especially food prices and uh, i like the availability to a point i was a bit frustrated that i couldn't find berries and i'm thinking there's a time you know we used to bake in kenya and we used to use a lot of strawberries granted it was a 
difficulty sometimes finding them but yeah th there's no such things in plenty and i do know that what we eat here is not the most healthy but just the availability and that is what i don't get like Kenya with all the, you know, being an agricultural land, I love that we could find uh, a lot of food, especially on the streets. There's that easy accessibility. But the prices, avocado lifika lini 40 bob. <laughs> I've been telling people here, we get them at 5 cents. So even 5 cents, 5 cents would be 50 shillings, yeah? Uh, 5 cents here would be 50 shillings. But it's so much less and i can't believe how expensive things are and it's so even the nice i don't even think we found the season the avocado because we mostly got the sugary ones but all in all i have to say i really enjoyed my stay and i enjoyed traveling and i thank god that he kept us safe throughout i thank god that some of the things we planned to do and even think we could make them make them happen they did happen and that just wants to confirm that god actually had guided me in doing these things and or us in doing these things we went there with hubby and i cannot wrap my mind around how faithful god is he took care of our kids we had the hardest time leaving them yeah but there was just this gentle assurance that god will be with them as he has been with us as he has been with the ones who went before us and i, I have to say just seeing his hand at work doing the most doing the most i have to it, it just uh pushes me into thinking that really i should rely on this god more i thank him for what he has done in the season and listen we traveled in many places yeah like we went to ishago our ishago is on the like keep your east uh side so that means you travel through nairobi thika moranga nyeri karatina nyeri and then you go to past Mwiga, those sides and we we did go there a few times so that was fun uh i did take my parents uh and by my parents i mean my mom my auntie and my niece to the coast and we had a really good time uh yes and i i just loved everything that kenya is offering especially the airbnbs i don't even think if we lived in a hotel i would have been able to afford but i was so willing and i was so uh, open to the idea of just spending on these loved ones to just give them a nice time you know and uh, they really enjoyed especially my auntie uh she kept just go go sharing you know just praising god for uh that nice opportunity and uh i'll just give you a small footage because there's that privacy issue i would want them to feel dignified through all this it's not like i did it to show but i did it just to fulfill some things that were in my heart that i would want to just give back and say thank you for everything they've ever done for me uh my aunties have always participated in uh, raising us you know when we were small they were there whenever we went to their homes they were there they would make sure that we are fed uh we are you know well covered end of our sweater you know make sure you drink your milk and those tender moments no child can forget you know and they were always open to us the their doors were always open uh for us and that was a good thing it was a good change for because we used to spend a lot of time with shosh and it was a good change to just hang with our, our aunties and our cousins. And I have to say, God bless you so much, you guys. I loved seeing you. I enjoyed being home, uh, hanging with you guys, uh, just doing the most of what we could. And I love that they were there whenever I called on them to do something together. They were there and lord I, I just bless god for that so our word uh, back to the our word of the season and i want to read from uh psalms i will read from psalms 37 from verse 3 up to about uh uh 10 i think yeah we could stop i mean 
we, we, we could stop a bit further from there maybe verse 7 but uh let's just read to 10 uh a, a nice round number <laughs> do you ever think like that i do i do and uh, man this is a season of lots of thanksgiving and i'm just blessed of the lord so let's read from psalms 37 verse 3 and it goes like trust in the lord and do good then you will live safely in the land and prosper take delight in the lord and he will give you your heart's desires commit everything you do to the lord trust him and he will help you he will make your innocence radiate like the dawn and the justice of your course will shine like the noonday, the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who, who prosper or fret about the wicked schemes like focus on the Lord. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Soon the wicked will disappear. Though you look for them, they will be gone. I'd like to invite you to read that again just by yourself and meditate on it. This is a season as we're beginning, or rather, I am beginning. I don't know how far along you, you are in your plans for the year, but I, I feel like I'm starting again and... Uh, Having just had that vacay for a month and coming here, just, you know, having this time to just look at things and be able to plan myself, plan things out, uh, starting from a very shaken uh, bank account. So I'm looking at the various things that I need to have restored. I'm trusting God to have restored. And I'm actually, like I mentioned before, in transition where work is concerned so there's that and i can only just trust and obey what the lord guides me to do in this season and i really am keen to hear what he's saying so i want to spend time in his word i want to write read what other people have written i want to build something in this season and one of the things that i'm interested in building is my body i felt like i was on a good transition before we left and then i saw ugali and that kenyan flavor your food eh? <laughs> i those neighbors chapels acheni acheni i fell into temptation food wise I do want to rebuild, I do want to correct, and I do want to, I don't want to be so strict, but the thing is that I have some health issues, so I have to, I was bloated most of the time because, ah, in Kenya, man, you don't get, uh, you don't get the things that you're used to, and the reason why I'm saying I, I was culture shocked is because while I was just living here and thinking Kenya is better, Kenya is better, Kenya is better, Oh, I miss this and I miss this in Kenya. I did get used to a lot of things here, you know, like uh, they're very sensitive with the different diets. Uh, so there's availability of different sugars. I could not find like stevia and splendor in Kenya. The way I went assuming I would find these things was foolish of me. And now I understand why people carry, carry, carry. I thought that was a bit snobbish, but now I know. So we learn the hard way sometimes. I was thinking I wish to just get there and have affordable manicures and all that. And I realized while I was, you know, just doing life, I got used to my manicurist and I loved her service. It may be more expensive. We pay much less in Kenya, but even just with that, within that short period, finding the right person, it was a bit tricky but it was good shout out to those who uh attended to us in that way uh the saloonists the people even who did our hairs i expected to have a hair different hairdo something that would last for a, a few months but just time rushed uh away you know time just rushed away from us but i'm so grateful in everything and i'm so grateful even for the places i got to travel and see and enjoy and even for the opportunity and the providence from god himself i wouldn't take any credit so i thank you and i ask you i urge you to just read this word again and while you're at it 
please subscribe and let's see you on the next one as we begin our year i will take you through what i intend to build and hopefully you will come along with me so god bless you god keep you see you bye bye